Remember how when you were little, your parents taught you not to put a plastic bag over your head because you might suffocate? Well, that's exactly what we're doing, putting a giant plastic bag over the earth, and it will suffocate. Hi, my name is Nadja, and I have a dream, a dream that you can help me accomplish, a dream for a zero plastic world. And I know that you're probably like, what? That's impossible. But no, it isn't, and you can help me achieve it. And no, I don't want you to become some sort of science genius that discovers a way to break down PE plastics in five seconds. All I want is for us to solve this problem one step at a time. As the largest generation in history, if we all do little things, we can make a big impact. Why should we even care about this? Well, remember last Thursday when you bought that lunch from the to-go place? Think back to what you got. A plastic cup of coffee with a straw, of course, and a styrofoam plastic container of the lunch you got with some plastic forks, spoons, and knives, and the glass Coke bottle you got for your friend. You also used one of those plastic stirs to mix the coffee. Well, did you know that when you're long gone, and when your daughter is long gone, and when your granddaughter is long gone, all of those plastic takeout items will still be sitting in that landfill in just as good condition as they were last Thursday. The plastic silverware will sit there for approximately 450 years. The plastic cup will be there for a little more than 450 years. The straw will be there for about 200 years. The glass Coke bottle will be there for an estimated 1 million years. The stir will probably be there for about 200 years. The lid will be there for about 200 years. And the plastic styrofoam will probably stay in that landfill until the earth explodes. But let's keep in mind that when I give the number of years that it will stay there, I'm not talking about biodegrading. I'm talking about breaking into pieces that are too small for us to see. You see, plastic never biodegrades. Those tiny, tiny pieces will be here forever. The problem is, it isn't just your takeout items that will sit there. Altogether, it is an estimated 6.3 billion metric tons of plastic waste. And it isn't just sitting in landfills, it's everywhere. Oceans, rivers, cities, parks, and countless other places, and it's doing many things worse than just sitting there. When plastic waste gets into our environment, it can cause extremely harmful damage. Many animals commonly mistake it for food, and if it is consumed, it can make the animal feel like it's full, causing it to not eat anything, but the animal is not getting supplements from real food, so it will starve to death without noticing that something is wrong. Microscopic plastic beads, called nurdles, make up almost all plastic products. They get melted down and molded into mass-produced products. But during shipping, they can fall from massive boats into the sea. These nurdles are extremely dangerous in the water because they absorb chemicals in the water and become highly toxic. This practice is dangerous for all animals because if small fish accidentally eat toxic nurdles, then the other animals will eat the fish with the nurdles and the nurdle will go up and up the food chain, eventually ending with us eating the poisoned animals and therefore having highly toxic nurdles in our stomach. And it isn't like there's Mara 100 floating out there. There are countless billion nurdles in the ocean alone. All of this plastic in our ecosystem is causing serious damage and we need to work to fix it. But don't feel hopeless. There are things you can do to help fix this worldwide problem. And they're not big things. For one, you can depend less on plastic. Try to buy products that have the least amount of plastic from your supermarket, mall, hardware store, and other shopping destinations. For example, buy milk in cardboard cartons instead of plastic cartons. Another thing you can do is avoid one-use plastic products, like plastic cutlery. You only typically use them once before throwing them out. If you carry cutlery sets on you, bring your own bag and carry your own reusable water bottle instead of plastic cutlery, plastic bags, and plastic cups. You're saving the environment of plastic items that will in total be there for 1,900 years. Another thing you can do is if you know a place near you that has a lot of plastic waste sitting around, you can clean it up and donate it to your local plastic bank where they will take the plastic waste, sell it, and give the money to someone in need. That way you are cleaning up plastic waste and helping families in need. Another thing you can do is participate and organize local cleanups. You can do river cleanups, ocean cleanups, park cleanups, anything that cleans the environment of plastic. And the last additional thing that's really important to do is spread the word. This way you can let more people know and more people will help fix the problem. And if those people tell more people who tell more people who tell more people and everyone helps clean the world of plastic, maybe, just maybe, my dream might come true.